Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ensign Hoekstra. I'm here at Naval Air Station Pensacola. Uh, today we're out front of buildings 73 and 74. Um, we're looking into the history of these ramps that we're standing on today and these hangars and what they were used for back in the past, seaplanes. The first aircraft used by the Navy were seaplanes, making the planes a successful start to naval aviation. A seaplane is a fixed-wing aircraft that can take off and land on water. Some of the pioneers behind seaplanes include Henry Fabry from France and Glenn Curtis from America in the early 1900s. In 1911, with the Navy observers present, Glenn Curtis made the first successful American seaplane flight. At this time, the Navy was looking for a viable option to counter German submarines in the Atlantic theater. In response, Rear Admiral David Taylor recommended the employment of a flying boat capable of neutralizing these threats. For this, the mission was sent to Naval Air Station Pensacola. There were originally six metal seaplane hangars on Naval Air Station Pensacola. These buildings were constructed between 1916 and 1918. They were part of a wartime building plan that resulted in the hangars lining the seawall on the air station. Each building had a corresponding amphibious aircraft launching ramp to launch the seaplanes. During World War I, the number of seaplanes in Pensacola went from 39 to 215. For three decades, these hangars and the seaplanes inside were the center of operations at Naval Air Station Pensacola. Today, buildings 73 and 74 are the only two left standing. They are used as housing for port ops equipment, outboard mechanics, and the Coast Guard. For a time, the hangars were even used as a practice space for Naval Air Station Pensacola's old trampoline team. They offer a unique glimpse into Naval Air Station Pensacola's past and its monumental history with seaplanes.